Psalm 132 today. Good morning. Lord, remember David and all of the hard times he went through. And it is reading with you, Stefan Hager, Islamabad, Pakistan. Open your Bible. It's best read in your own language Bible. Read along. Join me today. There are 18 verses in Psalm 132, and it's a very personalized psalm of David, Hazrat Dawood, where he talks about his succession as a king of Israel, and it's prophetic also for the Messiah, Jesus Christ, Hazrat Isa al masih Just like some of the Quran surahs are very personal, between Allah and Muhammad, as it seems. So this one is a very personalized psalm. So read with me, verse 2. Lord, he took an oath, mighty one of Jacob, he made a promise to you. My name is Stefan Heger. I repeat, I am a fellow follower of Jesus Christ in this world. And I go through hard times sometimes. And you go through hard times. So remember, you are not alone. I am with you, but also David, 3,000 years ago, already went through a lot like that. He said, I won't enter my house or go to bed. I won't let my eyes sleep. I won't close my eyelids until I find a place for the Lord. I want to build a house for the mighty one of Jacob. Here are the words we heard in Ephraim. We heard them again in the fields of Kirat Jirain. Let us go to the Lord's house. Let us worship at his feet. Lord, rise up and come to your resting place. Come in together with the ark. It's the sign of your power. Verse 9. May your priests put on godliness as if they were their clothes. May your faithful people sing with joy. Remember again that often these psalms, they were really sung. They were not just recited in Hebrew language. But the people of Israel would sing and they would dance with it. Verse 10, in honor of your servant David, don't turn your back on your anointed king. Look, it's very personal. It is a firm promise that he will never break. He said, after you die, I will place one of your own sons on your throne. That was a prophecy for Solomon, but also for the Lord Jesus Christ, who is also called son of David. If your sons keep my covenant and the laws I teach them, then their sons will sit on your throne forever and ever. This is the kingship of the people of Israel in the Old Testament. And that's a promise made by the Lord Almighty. Verse 13, the Lord has chosen Zion. That's the place where he wants to live. He has said, this will be my resting place forever and ever. Here I will sit on my throne because that's what I want. That's what God's want. Let's read on. I will greatly bless Zion with everything it needs. I will give plenty of food to the poor people who live here. I will put salvation on its priests as if it were their cloth. God's faithful people will always sing with joy. Here in Jerusalem, I will raise up a mighty king from the family of David. So this is King Jesus Christ. Uh, the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords will come out of the line of David, as we read in the Injil in the New Testament. I will set up the lamp of David's kingdom for my anointed king. Its flame will burn bright forever. I will put shame on his enemies as if it were their cloth. But the royal crown he wears will shine with glory. <laughs>